Hello friends, my name is Professor M. S. Ram. I have authored uh, uh, 52 books, including the award winning book titled See the Light in You. For which the novel laureate, his colonist Dalai Lama has written a foreword. I have 42 years of diversified experience, including Indian Air Force, business, teaching, and training. Uh, in this video, I will talk about uh, life after uh, 60. Now I am a senior citizen. and. Uh, uh, people often think that uh, the life is finished. I feel uh, very positive and optimistic that uh, uh, the best is yet to come after 60. That's what I believe. Uh, and uh, uh, during my uh, six decades of uh, life, I, I have seen more of uh, doubts than uh, uh, ups. I, I have under, un, undergone lots of uh, challenges. I travel different areas. Uh, 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 one uh, one one area was about Indian Air Force, and second was about uh, my business. Third was about teaching, and uh, fourth I don't know what I will do. Probably I may become a philosopher. Uh, I don't know. I can't predict what happens next. But I am optimistic that I will my real life will start after sixty. So I'm very optimistic and bullish. So there are so so many things to do. Uh, at the age of uh, 60 uh, and uh, uh, one, one more thing is that uh, 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 there are more uh, senior citizens globally longevity is uh, uh, going up that means more people are living and uh, there are so many opportunities of course they also have some health challenges if you look at my own life I had uh, lots of uh, challenges food of respect I had a uh, brain stroke and uh, I was paralyzed and uh, recovery. So I realized that how fragile the life is uh, and I have lots of challenges especially I have mental challenges, physical challenges and financial challenges and I was born in a toxic family and grew up in a toxic environment. Precisely I was blessed to be alive after brain stroke in the year 2021. I survived because of my positive psychology because of the power of subconscious mind and because of the healthy habits that I acquired from the air force. And uh, uh, despite all the challenges, I rose like a phoenix. And uh, here are certain things uh, you have to be mindful. Uh, uh, main thing is uh, let bygones be bygones. Forget the unpleasant past. Think about uh, the present. Don't think too much about uh, the future. Of course, you have to be optimistic about the future. And uh, uh, participate in the non-profits and uh, add value and make a difference in the lives of others. Uh, pursuing new hobbies uh, like uh, gardening or uh, book reading and uh, engage your mind uh, constructively go to uh, park daily go to gym uh, regularly and uh, so various things you can you know, pursue but uh, uh, everything comes down to money so in my case i have lots of uh, financial challenges i don't have any uh, passion because I served in Indian Air Force only for uh, 12 years, so I don't get any pension, I don't have any income for the last 8 years, so lots of challenges. So I have to create uh, something new for my livelihood. Okay, that's a different uh, ball game. So, what you have to do is uh, uh, keep following in the right direction and uh, be positive and be optimistic and uh, uh, create a bucket list and keep moving and uh, what I want to do is that I want to write uh, a, either a memoir or an autobiography. Autobiography will be very lengthy so it may not be possible because my right hand was paralyzed and numb and I can't eat and I can't type with my right hand so lots of challenges I have internal uh, challenges also so I want to write a memoir once I uh, hit back to normal say so the message from this video is that better late than never so life is very great and be positive and express gratitude and emphasize humanity thank you for subscribing to my youtube channel